I am the real Bethany Platt, girl who survived rape and torture can't watch Coronation Street story based on her ordeal. Lucy, whose name has been changed to protect her anonymity, has told how she fell into the clutches of her abuser after being snared on social media. Coronation Street's harrowing sex ring plotline is one of the most troubling in the soap's history, but most sickening of all is the real-life story it is based on. Horrified viewers have seen 16-year-old Bethany Platt groomed by evil older boyfriend Nathan Curtis, paraded in front of his vile cronies and raped as he looked on. Actress Lucy Fallon, who plays Bethany, confirmed there is worse to come after the schoolgirl agreed to marry the 35-year-old. Now she will will be dragged even deeper into his dark world as the pervert forces her to sleep with even more men. Koi writers enlisted the help of the NSPCC to prepare the complex storyline, and heard from one brave survivor abused after being groomed online from the age of 10. Now aged 21, Lucy, whose name has been changed to protect her anonymity, has told how she fell into the clutches of her abuser after being snared on social media. Struggling to make friends at school and trapped in an unstable home life, Lucy was instantly manipulated by his lies and scheming. Her vile abuser even pretended he was dying in order to lure her into meeting him. She was forced into posing for sick photos before being sexually and physically abused over the course of four years. He was very, very abusive as soon as I met him, straight away, she reveals. He drew me into this fantasy idea of a relationship and obviously when you're young that's what you think you want. He abused me for a very long time. Just like Bethany is manipulated by Nathan and Coy, Lucy's abuser convinced her they were in a healthy relationship. He was really manipulative, she says. He befriended me at first, the classic grooming story. He knew how old I was. They pretend to like what you like, they're very bally. They talk down to your level and act like they're a preteen with the things they talk about and the things they're into. If I said I was interested in something, he would find out about it so he could talk about it with me. But just like Nathan, played by Chris Harper in the ITV soap, Lucy's abusers care and concern gradually turned into control and coercion. Once they've befriended you, that's when they'll start being manipulative, she says. They'll say, if you don't do this then I will do this. She reveals that after a couple of years of grooming, her abuser then started needling her for six sexual photographs, and later threatened to tell her parents what she'd done if she didn't do exactly what he wanted. Horrifyingly, Lucy now thinks the sexual photos of herself as a young teen are being circulated by a grotesque sex ring online, although she believes her abuser was acting alone. The storyline involving Nathan sharing scantily clad pictures of Bethany with his mates was directly inspired by Lucy's real-life ordeal. Remembering first meeting her abuser when she was just 13 years old, Lucy says, He was much more than 10 years older than me, he would have been in his late 20s or early 30s when we met. I still don't know exactly how old he was. Even when I met him he didn't tell me. I only know because that's what the police told me later. I was really terrified about meeting up with him. Obviously I'd learned in school it wasn't a good idea to meet up with someone online, but he was very manipulative and he did say he really wanted to meet me. Gradually the abuse became more serious and Lucy was sexually assaulted on several occasions. Her groomer even lured her with promises of an engagement ring, just like what's happened with Bethany and Coy this week. Lucy says the prospect of marriage and a stable home life played on her craving for happiness as she struggled without friends or family support. Like Bethany in the soap, she thought she loved her abuser and they were in a normal relationship. I didn't have anything to compare it to, I didn't know this was normal in relationship, she says. But that was his bribery, almost dasho, we'll get engaged, we'll get married. I wanted stability and Lucy felt unable to tell anyone about the abuse because she had no friends at school, something she now realizes the abuser used to his advantage. Just like Bethany in the soap, 
Lucy couldn't open up about what was happening to her because she struggled to realize it was abuse. She only spoke out about it when she was 17, seven years after her first contact with her groomer, when her parents found out. But her abuser sickeningly continued to contact Lucy, even after she found out he had children of his own. Fearful that her abuser might be carrying out his sick attacks on his own children, Lucy felt compelled to eventually go to the police. There were multiple victims involved in the police case, she says. It was online and in person. There was evidence of multiple young people being abused by this one guy. Despite Lucy doing all she could to get the abuser convicted, the CPS was unable to gather enough evidence for prosecution. Lucy has now been left with the traumatic fear that sexualized pictures of her taken when she was still underage are lurking in the darkest depths of the internet. It was this agonizing tale, which has left Lucy with post-traumatic stress disorder, which reduced the coy cast to tears. Lucy says, Lucy Fallon cried when I met her. She was very emotional about my story and I think it hit home for her that what she's doing is somebody's reality. Lucy has spoken about how troubling hearing Lucy's story has been for her, but that it's helped her stay strong during the darkest scenes. She describes hearing the real-life experience as horrific. Now Lucy still struggles every day to come to terms with what happened to her. She sometimes self-harms and has been to therapy, but says she has found watching the storyline too upsetting. Tragically, she went on to have another abusive relationship, but is now in a stable, loving and happy relationship. She was even fearful of meeting Chris Harper, who plays Nathan, saying she was genuinely scared because of his frighteningly realistic portrayal. I don't think you ever recover fully, she says. You just have to take any day as it comes. I had a lot of therapy and a lot of support from my post-traumatic stress diagnosis and although I am still diagnosed with that you learn to live with it day by day. I would say to anyone who fears they are being groomed, just tell somebody, somebody you trust. Speak to a teacher, a friend, a friend's parent, anybody will help you. I think in reality the abuser will never be able to carry out all the threats they've said they're going to do, and actually they're the ones in the wrong. When you're in that situation it's difficult to understand that but actually all the threats and manipulation will not come back on you as the person being abused, it will go back on the abuser. That's why I've done this work with the NSPCC. Because if people don't seek help then it's stuck to them, and it'll be with them forever. You need to speak out. You deserve to be safe. Safe.